see, we've got dogs guarding the portal now. Yeah, they're mine. <laughs> ha. My dogs were incredibly brave and died in combat. My dogs have jumped on the bed with me. I'm happy with it. Ha. <laughs> Ash, uh, should I sleep? That would be helpful as well. Is that you, Dusty? Are you invisible? Me? Uh, I am in front of you. Am I invisible yeah, to you? Invisible. Uh -huh. Yep. That's the X. What? Could you fix my bronze sword? Um, sure. Where? Oh, you're invisible to me now, apparently. Uh -huh. Where are you, Dusty? Give me a location. Uh -huh. I'm uh, above your head. So I've got something for you. What is it? Uh, bracelets. A gluttony charm. Yeah, makes you uh, um, eat your food very fast. Uh, oh, that sounds useful for combat. Is it like a bauble? What do they call it? Yeah. yeah. Which you wear like a medal, apparently. Okay. Yeah, the real annoying thing. Before I died, I was 100% nutrition on everything. <laughs> uh, how? Because I've been eating, I've like, been eating what? a balance. Yeah, but like, how have you had that level of? Balance? Have you had enough fruit? It's I yeah. find it really hard to get a enough apple, fruit. The apple pies. I, we don't have infinite apple pies though. Yeah, well, this is like I, I think RCX and Final have been hogging all the food. Yeah. But remember, I, I, I cut oh. down all those apple trees, so I had about um five stacks of apples. Well, I had a yeah, stack of the, apples when we yeah, started today. The apples today. aren't the limiting factor, though. Is the problem? Yeah. I also harvested some wheat, put them in the horse. No, actually, I put them in the millstone. Yeah. I got them yeah. in the flour. And yeah, I mean, I, 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 I've done that and made like a stack of apple pies and then took a small number of them. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Do we have any particular place we're putting seed? Yes. I think I just heard Dan face one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry, where? The, the are chest in front of the smeltery. Right. I was just an idiot. Mm. Oh, I went up the dodging board to get something, got distracted by something else, then jumped off, and now I'm going uh -huh. up to get the thing I wanted. Because <laughs> I leveled up so much on the thing, so I'm seeing what perks I can get. Oh yeah, I like just got like all of the perks. What are all of these perks that you're getting? Um, for DMR. Okay. What are all of these perks. perks that you're getting? Uh, armor mostly. Uh, how, how are you I'll getting these see. perks? I've been beaten up. <laughs> yes. Well, I got beaten up a lot in that mission. Can I get some perks? Why are there seeds in this chest in the crafting room? Like, I've literally spent the last 20 minutes trying to make Cause... space in these chests in the crafting room, and we have a chest that's just for seeds. Because someone put them in the wrong place, probably. Well, thanks for making that clear. <laughs> but the, the real question is, why are folks putting them in the wrong place? I mean, because, I mean, personally, I didn't know that you had a... I don't think I put any seeds in there, but I made them. I don't think I'm gonna put any arrows in the back of your head, but I may do. Oh, I just didn't remember it exactly. Hello, the final side dogs. Uh, can I pet the dogs? Um, if you punch them, they'll probably try to kill you. Okay, but I don't want to punch them. I want to pet them. That's not the same thing. I'm just warning you. <laughs> okay, so can I pet the dogs? Yeah. Uh, how do you pet the dog as opposed to punch God, this is one of those conversations. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, dogs? You're just going to go unpetted. Uh, should we sleep since there's no stargazing going on? Yes. Well, I, I was going to do some stargazing. It's just I was looking for some coal. Well, you won't find that in the stars. It's like the opposite direction. I must say, I'm feeling a bit like disconnected from the game now. Yeah, like, I mean... It the, is not no only, that... like, do I have no idea what Final Sight's doing, the yeah. smelting, which is the thing I was doing, I have no idea what's going on there now, because, like, RZX keeps coming in and doing his own stuff in there. I mean, I'm, like, 
I'm just making materials for some stuff I want to craft. But... Yes, but like you're you're crafting. I'm not doing any the... of the Tinker's Construct stuff. <laughs> like you, yeah, you guys are just sort of running ahead. Like I also note that you killed the boss without us being there, or <laughs> even seeing it. Or even seeing it. Yes. Yeah. If we've got any more of that stroganoff, everyone needs to have something. What's strong enough? Um, when we defeated that um, boss, it dropped food. Uh, okay, I see. And you guys took it all, right? <laughs> I took one. You mean, you mean the boss that we never even saw? The one that RCX <laughs> killed while I watched, waiting for you guys. Yeah, I like how he's disowning his part in it now. Well, I didn't Trying even to touch it. I, 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 I was essentially. Um, just turned up and um, was going through the fence when it happened. I was a Millicent bystander. I've never even heard of Millicent's. Well, I've done something to improve our surroundings. Mm -hmm. What? I've taken what? down Ed's yep. house. <laughs> uh, what? The one that was on the... Yeah, on the side of the hill. Um, well, I don't know. Would you like to do some of the blood magic stuff? The sentient sword, it, sword is quite nice. Yes. Um, yeah. I'm going to need to make a new one at some point. Yeah, I'm not sure why you get the sentient sword. I mean, because yeah. I made it. Well, but... Like, if you want... If you want yeah, I, I think this do, this whole, like, <laughs> delegating the blood magic to one person has not really worked out the way we expected. Yes. I mean, blood it. magic Maybe is very much one of those mods that you can't, like, delegate. Ah, uh, and this comes out per... now after you've got a sentient sword. Well, because there's yeah. per person, like, um, attributes on it, so... Like, why were you the only one who did this? So, he's an like, alpha one as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Why were you two the only ones who did this? Yeah. <laughs> because the ones that did blood magic. <laughs> but yes, but you never, you know, said anything to anyone else about this. You just did it and then ignored it for everyone else. That argument raged on a while longer, but next session we traded out Final Sight for Ed and Sirs. What ho? What ho, Eddington? Mm. Hey, I didn't pray you to the Maquis. Yet. I'm pretty sure if there were Maquis in this game, you would have done so. See, this could be a nice place. Just on the edge of the village here. A nice place for what are we looking at exactly? Well, I was thinking that it would be cool to build a waterfall. Okay. On this hill. How about, didn't I build something up here? Well, I don't remember that. I built some stupid house. Or you mean a box? Yes. Well, I think if there were anything like that up here, it uh, might have been against planning conditions. I see. I was thinking like, um, you know those infinity pool things you get? Where it's like a pool on the roof of a building and the water just appears to like flow off the edge because there's actually like a thing around the outside of it that's catching it all. Uh, something like that. So like a waterfall that flows into a pool and then the water flows out of the pool into another waterfall that goes the rest of the way to the ground and then another pool at the bottom. Final sight, Ever the Slave Driver uh, has sent us some instructions in his absence as to what we're Ooh. supposed to do tonight. Has he? Yeah. Uh, however, I think RCX is supposed to be the one who's going to enact those instructions, and he's not here yet. He's eating his dinner, so while the horse is away, the people who aren't horses will build waterfalls. I didn't really think that one through. Uh, I don't think this is a dog-friendly workplace, Dungeon Duck. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> also, sorry. Yep. Sorry, I'll get him out of here in a sec. Sorry. Uh... Come on, dog. Come on. Come on, dude. 
Nope, that's... <laughs> Everywhere else. Come on. Hey! There we go. Oh, sorry, I just shut the door in their face. I'm sorry. No, I, I was only coming over to stand on the button to shut the door. Okay, cool. Oh, we do have a lot of books. Nearly three stacks of books. We do have quite a lot of eggs. We have over three stacks of eggs. Did you lay an egg, sus? Not That's a very personal question. Yeah. Well, there's lots of popping noises coming from your direction. Well, chickens are right next to us. That's a coincidence. <laughs> Following Puffy up the car. Oh, that, 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 that was not what I wanted at all. What, kicking me off the edge? Yeah, well, I was trying to trumpet you off the edge, but my trumpet won't blow. Aww. Has it run out of uh, steam? No, it's got your ability, but like it it makes the eating animation and does not play the, the toot. Yeah, you're, uh, you're smacking uh... your shield at the moment. Maybe uh, the gluttony charm messes with it. Ah. Let's try taking that off then. No? Yeah, no. you're still slapping your mm. shield. Weird. I'm swashbuckling. <laughs> this is possibly the most attractive sound you can make with a trumpet, to be honest. Whacking it with stuff. God, now you're making the same noise, but your shield's away, and I don't know what to know what you're slapping to make that noise. There's a scepter of twilight up here. Do the rest of the main six also have scepters? <laughs> oh man, I can't sneak up behind people and blow them off. <laughs> uh huh. Oh. No. Uh, wild all... dog. What? What is it you feed wild dogs? Depends. Uh, do they like? Do they like carrots or apples? Probably not. Sounds no. unlikely. I, I bones. Know that. Bones is what you want. Uh, I have some bones on me if you want. Uh, Tifty, oh. where have you gone? Oh, that, no, oh, that's. It's attacking me. Okay, it is a dead that's... wild dog now. Okay, so the first thing is probably... Ah, here's three paper. Uh, okay. We could do that with enough? more paper. Okay. Well, like, three paper is kind of on the route to getting more paper? Yes. Uh, we need at least four paper. Um, okay, so we probably need to make some more paper, um, which needs glue. Would you like to come and see it? I think I'll just go and look at it some more because then this can be a pay per view <laughs> stream. Uh, um, we all sigh in despair sometimes, Dan. Uh -huh. In case that wasn't clear. I know why you come to the stream, really. Today I'm <laughs> wearing a Skyrim t shirt. Uh -huh. Got your gamer creds going there. My Skyrim t shirt. <laughs> yes, your Skyrim t shirt. <laughs> Yeah, basically, the Astral Tome is the thing that actually guides you through um, all of the Astral Sorcery stuff. It's all basically all about doing stuff with starlight and observing constellations and such. So um, part of the process is like just discovering constellations, and then each constellation is like associated with different things. For example, there's ones that's like associated with, you know, resisting damage, uh, like, you know, moving faster, uh, damage, that kind of thing. And there's a different, yeah. like, set of them visible each night as well. Hey, how do they even get to where I'm standing? <laughs> <laughs> I might have pushed you off the edge, because you were looking at a different window. I actually have a time warp. Oh, hello, creeper. Hey, that's no way to push that. Ow. Hello, skeleton archer. Where's the Benice? Goodbye, Skeleton Archer. Uh, your hunting dimension, your twi- uh, no, your, no, you're the it's between the, lands. It's the block that you need to right click on. Ah, thank you. Um, actually, okay, oh, so- Oh, this place. Okay. The... Yes. 
so we're going down there to get axe from the reason today. Yes. I'll be with you in a second, I'm just rounding my way across. Oh, there's like a congregation of endermen over here. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie uh, sorry. Oh dear. You, are you in? I'm oh. in. Okay, cool. Sorry, I, th I thought I assumed you were teleporting uh, and you were getting hit by a zombie. Oh, hang on, Ed. Sorry, my weapon broke. Let me just. Uh... Uh, ah! Oh, that's the Ed. Ah! Oh. Well. Was I not talking? Yeah. Ed, sorry, by. You by were my... talking, and I was attempting to right. um, salvage matters. Okay, thank you. By alt dabbing or something? No, by stabbing the guy who was stabbing you. Which is why he was over by me when you were all the way over there. No, I literally killed him. After he killed me? I know, you're just splitting hairs. I think that's what he was doing with his act. Yeah, I'm lost in the beneath. I have no sympathy. Lost in the beneath. I hmm. fell off a thing, and now I have not the least clue. Well, build your, build your way back up. No, no, I have not the least clue where the way back actually is. Up. And some things... No, no, I was high up. Something just ha attacked me. Uh, is it the dark? It may be. It might ah, be. Ah, that's useful. Now, yeah, that's not useful. where on earth is my corpse? Oh! Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to suggest it is... I'm not wearing my that. boots anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. All right, so currently I'm corpse running my corpse run. Ah... It's like we're playing Valheim again. Time to pick up the emergency backup, backup armor. So it looks like we won't all be getting Astral Sorcery perks quite yet. Next time, we'll be mounting an expedition to the Beneath to help Ed find his grave and reclaim his lost items. Would you like to join us for that? I'm looking forward to it. Doodle pip!